Welcome to Startup Hack. This is our series about coding for entrepreneurs. I'm a firm believer that entrepreneurs should learn to code because I think it will help them in working with technical folks and even helping them to be able to dig in and to be able to write products themselves. And so today we're going to learn a little bit about some minimal APIs as well as dig into some of our coding projects and learning about Postman. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Startup Hack. My name is Spencer Tomlinson. I am the CEO and co-founder of Clean Router, as well as many other products. Here are some lessons that I've learned building a successful business while challenging startup norms. My challenge is to push you to rethink startup success. Welcome to Startup Hack. All right, let's go ahead and dig in and get started. Okay, so now if you've pulled down the latest code, uh, we're gonna, today we're gonna work on number two, Minimum Web API, API uh, ASP.NET Core. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about what this project is and what it means. Now in general, you're gonna wanna follow the structure a little bit more of what we had yesterday, but I think this gives some valuable insight into some what are the very basic minimums you need in order to be able to run a .NET API. Now, a lot of times I know if I'm uh, leaning towards a very simplistic API, I might lean towards another language. And this is part of the reason I showed this is because I wanted to show exactly how easy it is to run a very, very simple API here. So, you know, you have your general, uh, we're using any framework so that we can use the um, DB context, the in-memory context. Which, uses entity, which is used from Entity Framework. We create our builder, uh, we load our basics of our page. This will actually help us load a hello world page, which gives us at least the beginning uh, at, at the root. But then it begins to build in some of the APIs that we're gonna start to call here. And so um, these actually will be the same as what we had yesterday, but now you can see it's all contained in one file. Now again, most of you uh, hardcore programmers out there are gonna be like, what the heck is he teaching this for? I really like this though because it gives the very basic simplicity of what an API is. At the end of the day, an API is just a web page. And in this case, case, it's a very simple web app that actually allows you to be able to interact uh, using REST and uh, some very, very simple things. So you'll recognize uh, you know, our to-do uh, models from yesterday, the to-do item uh, DTO, uh, so that we can uh, work with the database context, and then the DB context, uh, the to-do DB, which extends the DB context. And this just allows us to be able to run the database in, uh, in our in-memory context. Next, we have um, you know, these, these very basic maps that we're working with here. And so these will be ones that will allow us to, um, uh, to give the very basics of our API here. So we have the get, and you'll notice that it maps a get, maps another get, a post, a put, and our delete. So same ones that we had yesterday, but yesterday we were representing them with Swagger. Today we won't have that, that. We're gonna actually be using a tool called Postman. So if you haven't downloaded Postman, I'd highly recommend you go download it now so you can follow along with the tutorial. It's also a great handy tool when you're testing REST APIs and it's a very, uh, very good tool. So for, for starters, um, once you've downloaded Postman, let's go ahead and uh, to get started today, go and import that file. So if you go in here and go to the code uh, and download this, this Post2 uh, Postman one, then we will uh, import that file and I've already imported it here. So it gives you these two, so a get and a post. Now, when we very first start, if you haven't run the application yet and you try to run against this, it's not gonna be able to post correctly and so it won't work. So we gotta go to our application and fire it up. So once we start it, it'll build, it'll kick off here. You can see that the console app starts up. It'll actually kick off a web page, which initially uh, looks like our default from yesterday is still set to Swagger, but um, so that won't work. But if we go to just the root of the app, you notice that it returns hello world. Now what's doing that? You can see that's this map get. So it's mapping a get. And if we set a breakpoint here and we execute that again, you'll see that it'll hit our breakpoint. Uh, so a little, a little tough here. It's actually not hitting the breakpoint because we'd, uh, this is all in line here. And so we'd have to actually get a breakpoint into there. So we can show you on, on this next one here. So now if we try to go into, this is our only other get is these to do items. So if we uh, navigate uh, in the browser to the to do items, you see because the browser is doing a get, it'll actually go and try to get these. And you, now you can see it's hitting our breakpoint here. And you can see it's actually gonna return that empty array. 
So the browser is actually doing a get. So if you open your control shift I and open your dev tools and we load this again, you can actually see that the browser is going to fire the get response. And if we go to our network tab and we can see that the browser has fired the one get response and this get response then is a uh, to uh, So we can see that our array is empty here. And so we're going to go ahead and we got to load up something into our array here. So this is now where we're going to come back to using Postman. So a couple of brief things about Postman. One of the first things with Postman is if you're working with authorization, you can get into the author, you can set authorization here. You can set custom headers. In our case, what we're going to work with today is we're actually just going to work with a very basic response. And uh, so let's send this guy off here. You notice it hits our breakpoint, So it's firing into the app and it comes back with an empty body. So now we can go and uh, because we're doing a get, we won't be putting anything into the body. So if we're gonna, when we do our post here, then we'll start using, uh, using that body. But in this case, we're just doing a simple get, so it's gonna come back with this. Now, let's go ahead and set up for our post. Now, in our post, um, we can actually post without a complete object. And so even though our to-do item requires an int, the name that is complete, and then also a secret, um, in this case, uh, we're just going to submit it with the name and it's complete. So is complete is true and the name is walk the dog. So we send that we can see that it returns. And so in our method here, it's actually going to, uh, you know, do the, do the put, uh, post in the post. It actually also then saves. So we take in a to do item. It uh, saves this to do item and it maps these pieces. It adds these in and it saves the change. And then it also uh, does a create add and returns that new to do item. So you can see that res returning here in our map below. And so now it's actually added as a number one. So if I do the same one again, you'll see that now it returns with number two because it's the second one in here. And if I go back and execute the get call, we're gonna get rid of this, uh, this breakpoint now at this point because we don't need it any longer. You'll see that it actually returns two. So let's go ahead and add back. And now we're going to say my cool, oh, probably helps if I edit in the correct window. Uh, my cool item. And we're going to say is complete and change that to false. So now when we send this guy, you can see it sends that. We go back here and we get this and we get number three. So my cool item and it's set to false. See, this is, uh, now if I stop this, my database is gonna clear and I'll have to reset these all over again. But what Postman is doing is it's actually gonna send either in this case a get, or in this case when we're doing the, the post, we can see all of our different verbs here, right? So we can do get, post, put, etc., And we can do all of these and, uh, and, and, get each, and, and do each of these um, and submit these and send, them, send the request over and then it'll show us the response down below. So this is essentially what's happening every time you work in a browser. But when with a browser, you're always doing a get. A get always, I mean, granted, you can force it in different developer tools and whatnot. But in general, you're doing a get on your browser. So that's why when we went, went to the browser, and if I go back to the browser now, and I do a get items, you see it'll return all of the items. So this is a, an, an interesting, um, uh, this is an interesting example. So this is an example of a get. Now, as we uh, so as we work, continue to work with Postman here, we can even let's uh, go ahead and test out our a delete. So we're going to do a new one here, and let's change the delete, and let's go take a look at our syntax here. So in order to know how we're going to do a delete, we're going to look at the map delete, and we have our to do items, and then we're going to do that, and then the number that we're wanting to delete. So which number are we wanting to delete here? Let's go back here to this. We've got three of them. Let's try and delete number number zero. So, uh, so let's do a delete and we don't need a body. Okay now, so to test a delete, so we have our post and we have our get. So to test a delete, I'm gonna just cheat a little bit here and do duplicate this one 
And I'm going to take this copy and we're going to rename this guy to, we'll do slash ID, enter. So now you see the name changed here. And then we also want to change this guy to delete and hit save. Now you notice over here we have the save delete over here. So now as far as the body, we're going to clear out the body because we don't care about, we're not, we don't need a body for the delete item. And we're going to change this. And we're going to change it to say, let's delete number three. So let's go ahead and get our breakpoint here. So we can set our breakpoint right here and fire this off. See it hit here. So it's looking for a number three. And uh, we can step through using F10. And now we see that it saves it and returns the results. I go ahead and let that run. And now it found it and it removed it. So now if I go back to my get and I run that, number three is gone. So we can see it's, uh, how this very simple, I mean with literally uh, less than 100 lines of code here, we have an entire web API. This is, allows you easy access to a database, allows you to interface with some very simple things. So if you just need a very basic CRUD operation on a very micro, uh, small microservice, you can see that literally in 100 lines of code and one file, .NET lets you actually run against all of these. And so um, you can do a post where, you know, we use post where we are creating them. We use get where we can get an individual one. Let's go ahead and test that out now. So let's say we want to just retrieve one of these. So I'm going to actually insert a couple more of these. So uh, we're going to get rid of, we're going to get rid of our ID here because we don't need to force the ID. Oops, we need to go back to our post and oh, there we go. So now we're going to change this to send that and we'll say yet another send that. So we got a couple of these in here now. Now let's say that I want to go and get number four. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and we're going to change this guy to And we're going to say we want to go get number four. Oop. To do items four. And in this case, we're going to do the get. So see now different than this get where I'm trying to get all of the items. And so I'm not asking for any. In this one here, I'm going to say I'm going to go get just number four. So if I send this guy, you see that it retrieves number four. So to follow this one here through here, and I'm going to get rid of this breakpoint now. And we want to just do a post or a get, right? It's going to go get the item. And we're going to grab this here and fire this again. So hit my breakpoint. This is going to go and find the ID of number four. It's going to get that if it is, and it checks that it's uh, that if it's that it's okay and sends back this new item, or else it would send back not found. So there's doing a little bit of checking there. So that's where you can see it's coming back. So now we can uh, save this one. And we now have four successful uh, different types of posts using Postman. So today we've gone over a very minimal amount of uh, an API to get that you can see Swagger's commented out. So this is the very minimal most amount you can build out with a web API using less than 100 lines of code. Use Postman to execute this. And uh, we'll cover some more details on this later. But this is a really good start. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope that you're helping to learn something. If, you, if there's anything I can do to make it easier to learn or to follow along, make sure you leave comments down below and I will follow up with those and we'll uh, uh, do better on our next one. So thanks and we will catch you guys next time.